Hey everybody, JRSP here with another pickups video from the Long Beach Expo. So a lot of you um, that watched my last video, I told you I bought a big collection of cheaper stuff, all graded cards and autographs and memorabilia. And this is it. I was going to pick out the highlights, but I was like, you know what? There's a lot in here. I thought we'd just buzz through it and you guys can just see the highlights and the low lights. So I'm going to move these so I have more room on my table to show you and I'll be right back. Hold tight. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll do the graded cards first here real quick. We'll just go through them pretty fast. That way, uh, this video's not too long. Uh, let's see, put this up a little bit. Make it a little bit easier to see. All right, so I'll tell you how much I paid for this at the end of the video, and you guys tell me if I did a good job or not. All right, so this is a bunch of... I, I, well, it looks like there is a PSA card in here. It says PSA DNA. Um, I don't know if... Uh, <laughs> I looked at these really fast when I bought them. A uh, guy was like, you want a good deal on something? Because he knew I was trying to buy bulk. Hey, I'll give you a good deal on that. How, okay, how much? So I looked through it, and I made him an offer, and he took it. And I'll tell you what it is at the end. Uh, but you guys go ahead and count along. See how many cards are here. And uh, we'll see if it's a good deal or not. So a lot of BCCG, but there's an old Manny Ramirez. Lonzo Morning, old GMA. Look at the prices on here, 10 bucks. I'm not sure if he actually planned on selling these or not for these prices, but... Dave Rigetti, 1990 Upper Deck, for 10 bucks. Literally a five-cent card, maybe, at best. Uh, D'Angelo Williams and a 10. Of course, keep in mind, BCCG, it's something like a sister company to Beckett. It's Beckett Collector Club grading, and uh, it's kind of like for, like, people just getting started. This here says, this is as a 10, meant or better. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to show you this corner here. Look at this corner. That corner is not is not what you would consider mint or better uh keep all that in mind when you're buying when you're buying uh beckett collector club grading 92 leaf craig biggio and a nine so a nine would be near mint or better which is a seven or better so apparently this card has got a big ding corner but 12 bucks on that one if you bought it hey that's not too bad ron gidry autograph at the old yankee classics that was a cool set um you know, not worth much, but that's Louisiana Lightning, so I, I probably get hey, maybe 15 bucks for that card, I think. So not too bad right there. Um, and like I said, I, I looked at these really fast. I only looked at these once. I never looked at them again after that, so uh, this is a surprise to me, too. Uh, DJ Wilson of the Bucks. That's going to be out of encased. Um, 9.5 out of 99. I never heard of DJ Wilson. All right, there's a Duke Snyder. It's kind of a faded autograph, but still an original duke snyder autograph uh psa dna this probably costs minimum 20 bucks to get it slabbed uh maybe more um but anyways 40 bucks on that one uh josh rosen 2018 leaf rookies and stars on a 10 yeah a lot of these cards are pretty comical but that's okay i got them i have a great idea for this stuff right here and i'll let you guys know at the end of the video 89 flare tony gwen and a 10 Mint or better, 15 bucks. Hey, that's interesting. Hidden Treasures Diamond Collection. 85 tops, 10 reigns, and a 9, which means it's a 7 or better, with a piece of game used bat. Interesting. Completely didn't know that was in here. Just flew through these. 1990 Leaf, one of the ugliest sets I've ever seen. Uh, Doc Gooden, 20 bucks. Oh my goodness. Hey, 87 Donruss, Dave Winfield. Uh, 20 bucks. Uh, you know what, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to crack a few of these that I think are actually possible. They may not even be PSA candidates, but uh, I might just do a couple just for fun just to see how uh, how far off the grading is. But Matt Williams, 89 Flair, 12 bucks, 93 Kirby Puckett. That's the uh, Future Heroes cool old insert card. Pat Burrell, Pat the Bat, 2002 Ultra. That's a third year card, 8 bucks. Move on, 96 Ultra, 8 bucks and a 9. Hey, an 82 Donruss, Gary Carter and a 9. That's a 7 or better. Got a little discoloration all around the card. But that's okay. Benito Santiago and a 10. Third year Benito. Who wouldn't want to buy that for 12 bucks? Next up, John Smoltz and a 10. Darren Nurstad and a 9. Bernie and a 10. Brady Anderson, the guy who miraculously hit like 50 home runs one year and never did it again or anything close. <laughs> uh, Frank Thomas and a nine. Oh gosh, what do we got here? Hey, Devin Hester, he was pretty good in a 10. 
Uh, but keep in mind the tens are mint or better. Lou, sweet Lou Whitaker and a nine. That's the gold medallion. That's the only difference up there is a round gold around it. 97 Chipper Jones upper deck and a nine. I'm going to clean these cards up, make room for the rest. Alrighty. Last couple stacks of these, and then we'll switch over to the autographs. And there's actually some halfway decent ones in there. Uh, nothing super big, but none of the Angela Williams. Nothing big money, but um, eh, a couple that are better than junk. Manuel Sanders, rated rookie. Carrie Collins, another GMA. That's a, an 8. This is probably a better grading company than BCCG. <laughs> That's a 98. It's not even a rookie. Sam Darnold and a 10. Jeremy Shockey. He was a good tight end for a little while with the, with the Giants. And he went over to the Saints. But eh, never did much after that. So Thurman Thomas, 94 select. And a 9. Brett Smith. I don't think he ever had a snap. That's Wyoming. That's Josh uh, Allen's alma mater. Uh, Chris Johnson. That's the rookie premiere. And a 10. Derek Favors and a 10. And Ernest Biner. Traded to Cleveland. Oh, I'm sorry. Cleveland to Washington. And then 8. Oh, these are pretty comical because these are absolutely garbage. All right. Robin Ventura. Ultimate victory. Used to love those. And a 10. Scott Rowland. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Hey, Richie Sexton. He was a, a pretty good power hitter back in the day. Probably not going to give you enough numbers here, but uh, a couple 31 home run seasons. And his early, yeah. uh, one of them was for Buffalo Bisons. That was a minor league team. Yeah, one year with the, with the big club. Reggie White, pro line. And an 8.5. David West. And a 10 for $20. Paul Canerco, $10. Hideo Nomo. That's a third year. Hideo Nomo, 10 bucks. For the 10, Hideo Nomo again, third year for 10 bucks. Now, there's a nice looking Bernie Williams 2000 SPX. Always love those cards, but sadly not worth $15. Maybe in a real PSA 10. Tom Seaver Opeachy in a 10. And I can just see flaws. Top two corners aren't even sharp on this one right here. And the D train, Dontra Willis, a national baseball card day in a 10. All right, let's get on to the autographs. Okay, I think I mentioned that these are mostly all uh, autographs and memorabilia cards, but uh, at first glance, the very first card is not even an autograph, so, uh, but I think they're mostly autographs. All right, an old Ty Cobb T206, or I'm sorry, that's a, that's a 1911 Turkey Red cabinet card. <laughs> it's the uh, 09, I'm, I'm, I'm talking way too much about this, but anyways, yeah. Uh, Chris Johnson autograph, that's not horrible. He was actually a good, uh, a good uh, running back for a while. Uh, there's a... Um, what did that say? Oh, Topps Originals Baseball's 04 Signature Edition. Certified issue, and Topps has got it uh, wrapped up in this thing. It's got the sticker back there, and it's got a uh, serial number right there, but David Lopes. That's that's eh, $5 card. Martin Jones out of 99. National Treasures. Never heard of him. Uh, if anybody knows hockey, let me know if this is worth anything at all. I guess I'll look it up, but hey, that one's not horrible. Rafael Palmero, 40 bucks. Uh, autographed napkin, 2014. That's not horrible. Completely forgot about that. Trey Mancini Inceptions, numbered out of 90. That's not that bad. All right, so a few of these aren't that bad. I got this from the same guy in the same deal. Jason Hayward, Hayward, he was he's a great, pretty good, pretty good ball player. Pretty good. Not didn't live up to the height, but uh, still a pretty good ball player. There's a Columbus Clippers. Um, Al Leiter, that's pretty cool. Adrian Gonzalez, another great baseball player. Potential Hall of Famer out of 99. Okay, so I, I forgot about a lot of this stuff. Miguel uh, Almonte, uh, he's not really worth much. That's a thick card, though. But, um, so that's like one of the first junky ones. Elias Diaz, Refractor. All right, now we're getting to the junk. Looks like Alex Cobb. There's a dual sign. Eric Campbell and John Holt. Uh, hey, that's a pretty good one. Roberto Almar. I think that is an in-person autograph. But, looks pretty good. Okay, Stephen Drew. That's J.D. Drew's brother. He wasn't horrible. Uh, let's see. Who is it? Tim Anderson. Not not the White Sox one, but Tim Anderson, USA. And a numbered card, too. Alright, moving right along. Let's keep going. 
All right, Danny, you can read his last name there. Just to save time, I'll try not to read it. Matt Thornton, Gorkas Hernandez, Zach Collins. I think he's still playing, so that's not too bad. That's a 2016. I think he's around. Kevin Knox, rookie. Autograph, Prism Rookie Auto. That's pretty cool. Jay Buner, he's another great one. He's a hall of the Hall of Really Good, I think. I think if you didn't DH so much, he's a better chance of being in the Hall of Fame. Mari Wills, that's pretty cool. That's going to be an in-person autograph, I believe, but he's a good signer through mail. Uh, Greg Smith, nobody. Frank Catalanato, he was a pretty darn good ball player for quite a while, so he's he was not a slouch. Atlee Hammaker, a couple of those right there, a little in-person signed. Connor Jackson, big prospect. Uh, didn't really do much. I think he came up with the uh, Diamondbacks. Leandro Barbosa. Barbosa. Yep, I don't really know much about him. That's uh, Sean Coyle. Never heard of him. Alex Mejia. Mejia. Oscar Tavares. He passed away right after his rookie season. That's too bad, but there can't be a lot of his stuff out there. That one might be worth a few bucks. Uh, Trent Clark. Is that Brett Jackson? Yeah, Brett Jackson. Tipsy Queen. Latrell Sprewell. That's an in-person. Justin Hardy. That's pretty cool. Numbered out of, I think, 60. Top's finest RPA. Pretty neat card there. Good looking. Big chunky swatch on there back when they were game used. Niger Morgan. Not too bad. Mark Teixeira. That's not a bad one either. He's a he's in the hall of really good. Another Atlee Hammaker. Toby Hall, he was around for a minute. Who is this? Avisiel Garcia. He was around for a little bit too. Nice autograph. These cases are old and roached. Luis Martinez. Drew Pomerantz. Uh, who is this? Preston Clark. And Matt Harrison. Alrighty. There's stack one of three. Okay. Natron Means. He was a beast for a little bit. Uh, Greg Lee, Yaman Figures, I think. <laughs> Bubba Franks, man, he was a huge prospect back in the day, but didn't quite do what they were hoping he was going to do. Zach Robinson, Topps Chrome, Rookie Auto. We got here, Jeremy Ebert, I think. Max Williams, Let's see if we get any more halfway decents. Sean Long, Sean Markham. Hey, I put that in the Mets PC, in the Mets binder. It's not too thick. Yeah, I can get it in there. Sonny Gray, actually a good ball player right there. Decent pitcher in the majors. Buddy Hassett, best wishes to Gary. Buddy Hassett. Uh, Brody Colvin, never heard of you. Nick Evans, another Mets one, but I like putting the guys that have that actually played with the Mets in the binder, so I don't know if he ever came up and played. Andre Roberts, I love these old press pass. I got a Rob Gronkowski auto like that in his rookie year. Terrell Pryor, he was a big touted prospect. I don't think he really ever did much. I'm not sure if he's still around or not, but oh, here's here's some good stuff. Andy Roddick. That's pretty cool. Uh, the, the tennis aces here. That's really cool. That's got to be worth, I don't know, 20 to 40 bucks, we'll say, just for craps and giggles. Uh, and some more. That's right. I had some more. Lindsay Davenport. Like That's out of 100. Uh, no idea what these are worth, but uh, I gotta look them up. But some of these tennis ones might not be too bad, like Lindsey Davenport, James Blake. Never heard of him. Uh, Anastasia Mesquina. I don't know. All girl athletes always seem to sell for a little bit more than nothing. Jonas Bjorkman. Never heard of him, but maybe something. Ivo Karlovic. Never heard of him, but. Dominic Herbetti, but a lot of these guys, they sell good overseas and stuff, so Mark Kalkovecchia, maybe? I don't know. I don't, the golfer's not so much, but Gary Nicholas, that's Jack Nicholas' son, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Eddie Butler, Donovan Peoples-Jones, that's not horrible. Who is this? Uh, Brandon Whedon, Brandon Whedon, I remember him. Uh, Kayvon Webster. Uh, Tavares King. Alrighty, moving right along. I'm trying to get these done pretty quick. Chris Wormley. Uh, Ryan Swope. Jarrell Harris. Uh, Sidney Rice. That's not bad, not bad at all. Okay, Trent Richardson autograph. Uh, RPA times four. <laughs> he was pretty good for a while. 
Brian Robisky, Tony uh, Fiametta. I'm not sure I remember him, but that's our Kentucky rookie Kentucky blah, contender rookie ticket autos. Zuriel Smith, Taylor Heineke. Nice. I did not even know that was in there. He's the one that's been playing real well for the Redskins there. That's pretty cool right there. Uh, what do we got here? Um, Jason Hill. Anthony Harris. Some more golfers here. Larry Nelson. J.J. Henry. Chris Smith. Dennis Paulson. Chris Durham. Goose. Hey, we got the Goose. Another Hall of Fame autograph. That's pretty cool. Goose Gossage. Nice. And that's a, you know, a licensed one, not a through the mail. Dennis Dixon, I remember him. Uh, this is uh, Jason Hill, RPA. Ty Hill. Mercedes Lewis. Dem Demetric Felton. Cracked ice prism. Mark Webb. Um, AC Law. Never heard of him. AC Law. Sean Green. I'll throw that in my Jets binder. Heck yeah. Eric Dampier, he had, a, he had a career. Terrence Williams, never heard of you. No, I heard of him. Billy Brown, never heard of him. Uh, Mariano Zabalita and Feliciano Lopez. Hey, a Star Wars one. I don't even know who it is because I never watched Star Wars, but Magistrate Morgan Elsbeth. I don't know if that's actually her name or if that's her character's name. Oh, Diane Lee Enosanto. Let me know if you guys ever heard of her and if she's worth anything. Okay, what do we got here? Bo Jones, uh, Adam Eaton, Max Khalil, uh, De somebody Green Becker, Beckham, <laughs> uh, Jay Bruce, oh, he was pretty good, Mike Lamb, big prospect, never did nothing really, Tony Lippett, hey, Adam Keefe, how about that in a jazz binder, nice, couple PC cards, Otis Hill, uh, Scott Pollard, Turian Prince, not all horrible, Vladi Divac, that's a great one, Vladi was freaking awesome, I, I, I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame, but he, he's definitely, could be, I think he is a Hall of Famer, actually, I think so, Drew Gooden, he was good for a minute, Brandon Tate, Kelvin Benjamin, Stephen Gidry, never heard of him, not our buddy Hassett, best wishes Gary, Trey Arbet. Aaron Murray, nice. All right, guys, sorry about that. Lost, uh, <laughs> lost some memory. Had a had a, some fixing there. Uh, Coriel, I don't even know. Coriel Judy, Coriel Judy. All right, hey, that's not horrible. Geno Smith, out of twenty-five, I think that might be a rookie. Is that a rookie? Let's see, two thousand, no, two thousand fourteen or fifteen. 2014 black gold so his rookie year is 13 but that's not horrible right now i probably make a good a couple bucks for that i probably get 20 i might get 20 30 bucks for that one out of 25 number one of 25 not horrible kyle quantrill that is luis hernandez a lot of these are numbered too another gorkus hernandez i think he was in the first stack too jamal mashburn he was a great one freshings auto super popular lots of dust in this case Bo Kimball, not too shabby. This is back when Flair lost a license and was still making some cards. Race Balding, Devin Hall, oh gosh, Isaiah Stanback, uh, Mar Marcus Chris, so out of 99 National Treasures. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do you got here? Avery Johnson, hey, that's a pretty good one. He's a great one. So a handful of greats in here. Fred Brown, there's an old throwback guy for the for the Sonics. Uh, Marcus Derrickson, never heard of him. Devin Street. Um, J. Bond Smith, I think is how you say it. <laughs> Lavor Postel, I don't know. Mike Sweeney, he had a great career. He's a great ball player. That's pretty cool. That'll sell on eBay for a few bucks. Troy Williamson. I mean, you might be able to get 10, maybe 5. I don't know. DJ Stewart for that Sweeney I'm talking about. Devin Ebanks. Pretty cool. Never heard of him, though. Uh, Donatella Luckett. Cool-looking card. Don't know him, though. BJ Cunningham. Not sure if he's related to Randall. 
Jeff Fuller, that's an older one. Levi Norwood, never heard of these guys. Vincent, Vince Malley, I don't know. Deshaun Wynn, Gary Brown, Yelena Dokic, Dokic, I think, I don't know. <laughs> but it's a girl tennis player in a short skirt, so she'll sell. And the last one looks like our Monty Edwards. All right, guys, there they are. I don't even know how many are here, but that was a lot, that's a lot of... A lot of autograph cards there, so. Uh, now, how much did we pay for these? That's the question. So there's a big stack for these. So all these autograph cards here, I don't know how many are there. I don't know, a few hundred at least probably. I paid uh, maybe at least a couple hundred. I don't know how many are there. Anyways, I uh, paid $100 for them all. And the graded cards, same size stack basically. I'm uh, not sure how many are there. A couple, what is that? I don't know. Anyways, if you counted them, I paid $100 for all those. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I paid $100 for everything. I paid $50 a box. So $50 for all these autographs and $50 for all those uh, memorabilia cards or the graded cards. So $100 bucks for everything you just saw in this video. So not too bad. Let me know how I did in the comments below. I didn't realize there's actually, I don't know, maybe 5% weren't horrible and a couple were a little bit better than horrible. So... Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks for sticking around this long. We'll see you next time. Later.